Hello, it's Holpole here. This is a first for me because it's the first time I've ever talked on, uh, on one of these clips. I just wanted to tell you about my experience with the Class 14 teddy bear. And uh, as you can see in this picture, she arrived last Thursday and uh, from, from Hattons in Liverpool and uh, manufactured by Helljam. Now first of all I want to give all credit to Hattons and Helljam for producing um, this loco and giving us an opportunity to have it on our layouts. It's not cheap, it was £114 uh, with the uh, favourable rate of exchange that uh, was a little bit cheaper I guess to here down under. But uh, after I'd extricated it from the box um, the first thing that happened was um, I found that um, this keeper plate down one end uh, had come adrift and the back wheels were, well, whichever way they were when it came out of the box, they were literally hanging off. So I put those back on and then I had Hell's Own Teeth trouble getting those little contacts with the wheels, getting them back properly. I still don't think they're, they're right. Now, there are several other points I want to make about this loco and I'm going to run her for a couple of minutes in this clip and you can see for yourself um, she waddles a bit like a duck there's a there's a, a, a definite knock in it now um, these wheels definitely don't seem to be very seem to be cheap and shoddy to me there's a a, um, a hell of a lot of play in the in, in, in here which I don't know it doesn't seem right to me the um, these lights only work on one side, back and front. Now, I'm look. Excuse my ignorance. I would have thought they work both sides, but perhaps they don't. Not supposed to. I don't know. I've heard people say they have hell's own teeth getting the these uh, reporting numbers. You have to take the whole body off. Some people snap the central body doing it, and um, so I took the easy way out, and um, I stuck the numbers on the front. Who the hell cares? But uh, just have a look at this too. Now that looks to me as though that has been, there's a hole on the left side, you see that, I don't know whether it's that the exhaust pipe there perhaps, but there's a gap there now. Now that looks to me as though when it's assembled that part has snapped off. The other thing was too, round here, these little duvers, the handrails here, they were hanging off. I've put those back the best I can. It's quite heavy, it, it pulls very well, but uh, it's definitely got a waddle now. And um, well, you make up your own mind as I, as, I, uh, as I send it around the track here for a couple of minutes in different points on the layout, and you can make your own mind up. But it gives me the impression that it's, that it's not terribly well put together. It just feels to me as though it could fall apart at any moment. Which brings me to my final point, why the hell can't we make these things in Europe somewhere instead of China, which is, you've got the one factory just churning out the bulk of the world's population of model H0000 gauge locos. Surely to God it's not beyond us. trains are doing it. So why can't somebody take, the, take up the cudgels and just do it for heaven's sake? It's, it's, it, we're placing too much reliance on, on the Chinese, I feel. But anyway, here we go. I'll put her on the track and you can make up your own mind. Thanks for watching my clips, by the way. And all the best from Holpol.